What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best vlogging camera 2022 through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. 10th place. Canon EOS M50 Mark II. It's a shame Canon didn't give the EOS M50 Mark II a bigger update than its predecessor, but it's still an excellent 1080p video option for someone just getting started with vlogging. The key changes are IEF for stills and video, which works well for an entry-level model, and the ability to capture vertical video for platforms like as Instagram. It's a shame Canon didn't give the EOS M50 Mark II a bigger update than its predecessor, but it's still an excellent 1080p video option for someone just getting started with vlogging. The key changes are IEF for stills and video, which works well for an entry-level model, and the ability to capture vertical video for platforms like as Instagram. Ninth place. DJI Action 2. The DJI Action 2 is unlike any other action camera, and if you don't mind shooting relatively short clips, think 5 minutes at a time, it's compact, modular form factor is ideal for on-the-go vloggers. If you want to see yourself in the frame while filming, you'll need to purchase the dual-screen combo bundle which contains an additional magnetic module that fits onto the base block and provides a front-facing screen. The modular architecture of the Action 2 means that you can always remove it and put it back into a wearable, 64 grams camera. Despite its small size, the Action 2's camera has a larger 1-1.7 inches sensor than the GoPro Hero 10 Black, and the quality of its 4K video in daylight situations amazed us. This camera module is also waterproof down to 10 meters on its own, though it's worth noting that other modules, such as the touchscreen module, aren't waterproof without a cover. Despite a few practical downsides, like as the overheating limitations on clip lengths, the Action 2 is a wonderful alternative if you require a tiny, unobtrusive, and adaptable vlogging camera. 8th place. Fujifilm X-T200. The Fujifilm X-T200 is an appealing entry-level camera with a lot to offer vloggers. The X-T200 features the traditional retro style of the X-Series, as well as a 24.2MP APS-C sensor that takes uncropped 4K video at 30p via downsampling from 6K film. The results are noticeably more detailed and lively than the camera's 1080p efforts. It's a shame that digital image stabilization is only available in Full HD, but if you use a lens with built-in IS, you won't notice the difference. The Fujifilm X-T200 is an appealing entry-level camera with a lot to offer vloggers. The X-T200 features the traditional retro style of the X-Series, as well as a 24.2MP APS-C sensor that takes uncropped 4K video at 30p via downsampling from 6K film. The results are noticeably more detailed and lively than the camera's 1080p efforts. It's a shame that digital image stabilization is only available in Full HD, but if you use a lens with built-in IS, you won't notice the difference. 7th place. Panasonic GH5 Mark II. The original Panasonic GH5 became a legend due to its combination of class-leading 4K video specifications and a tiny, inexpensive chassis with IBIS. The GH5 Mark II does not much improve on the original formula, but it does offer one especially helpful feature, wireless live streaming. With the Panasonic GH6 being the true update to the GH5 in terms of video quality, live streaming is the GH5 Mark II's main focus, and it works wonderfully. Streaming to YouTube and Facebook is straightforward thanks to the Lumix Sync app's built-in options, but you can also stream to other sites like Twitch because to its compatibility for the standard RTMP slash RTMPS protocol. The GH5 Mark II's autofocus is still behind the best, and streaming quality is limited to 1080 60p, but it's perfectly serviceable in most situations, and the camera's other specs, in-body image stabilization, an articulating screen, and a huge array of video shooting options, make it one of the best vlogging cameras around, especially if you want to dabble with the live element. 6th place. GoPro Hero 10 Black. The GoPro Hero 10 Black does not reinvent the action camera, using the same tiny sensor, displays, and casing as the GoPro Hero 9 Black before it. However, it provides a more sophisticated experience than its predecessor, making it the most adaptable action camera available to daring vloggers. The new GP2 CPU assures refined performance, while a snappier touchscreen interface and menu system make it much easier to operate. The processor raises 5K frame rates to 60p for smoother vlogs, while 4K at up to 120fps enables clearer slow-motion filming for fascinating cutscenes. Stabilization has been improved, with Hyper Smooth 4.0 and Horizon Leveling included for ultra-stable film, even when swinging at 45 degrees. 
live streaming has some constraints, YouTubers must have at least 1000 subscribers, but you may now stream with Hyper Smooth 4.0 enabled. When you combine a hydrophobic lens cover with its renowned endurance abilities, the GoPro Hero 10 Black emerges as the clear victor if you need high-quality footage in challenging situations, even if budget rivals offer superior value. 5th place. Sony ZV-E10. Looking for a little vlogging camera that is more versatile than the Sony ZV-1 or DJI Pocket 2? The ZV-E10 may be your best option. It's built on the relatively ancient hardware of the Sony A6100, hence the low price, but it packs a slew of video-focused capabilities that make it a viable option to the ZV-1 if you want to experiment with different lenses and focal lengths. The ZV-E10 has the same 24.2 MP APS-C CMOS sensor as many of its A6000 series siblings, which is both good and poor. When compared to its smaller sensor competitors, it has a big sensor that offers remarkable video and photo quality for the budget, especially in low light. However, when you pan quickly, it suffers from rolling shutter issues, the jello look, and the camera lacks a viewfinder, a 4K 60p setting, and in-body image stabilization. Still, there is an electronic steady shot to smooth handheld jitters, along with great software features like product showcase that we saw on the ZV-1. The ZV-E10's autofocus is also best in class at this price, so if you don't mind those aforementioned limitations and want a flexibility of interchangeable lenses, it's a great new option for vloggers. 4th place. Fujifilm X-S10. The Fujifilm X-S10 is arguably the best all-around mirrorless camera at this price point, capable of a wide range of shooting techniques, including vlogging. It's not the cheapest or smallest option in this guide. The Sony ZV-1 is a better compact option, but it's our current top pick for video creators in terms of quality and value for money. When combined with the XC15 45mm kit lens, you have a fantastic vlogging setup. The XS10 features the tried and true combination of a 26.1 MPX Trans CMOS 4 sensor and the X processor 4, as seen in the Fujifilm X-T4. It shoots 4K 30p video uncropped, has in-body image stabilization, IBIS, to smooth out handheld hiccups, and a VARI angle screen that swings around to face you. Other helpful features of the XS10 include Full HD recording at 240p for a 10x slow motion effect, F-log recording, and the ability to output 4 to 2 colon 2 10-bit video. On top of that, it has some excellent retro aesthetics and a great, comfortable grip, making it a great hybrid option for shooting stills as well. It's also reasonably priced when you consider all of the features you receive. But be warned, its large selection of excellent X-series lenses may be difficult to resist. Third place. DJI Pocket 2. We love the original DJI Osmo Pocket, but this successor eliminates many of its flaws, making it the greatest compact alternative for solo filmmakers. The Sony ZV-1, above, is superior in terms of overall video quality, but if you frequently film walk-and-talk style clips to camera, the Pocket 2's combination of a 3-axis gimbal and strong face tracking may be more tempting. In comparison to the Osmo Pocket, which is still available as a less expensive alternative, the DJI Pocket 2 has a larger sensor, a brighter lens, improved microphones, and a wider field of view, which means you don't have to hold it out at arm's length when talking to the camera. Place it on a tripod base or other flat surface, and it will turn to keep you in frame while you walk around in front of it. Despite the larger sensor, the Pocket 2 isn't the best camera for low light or high contrast scenarios, but it's a significant improvement than using your phone in a gimbal, and the upgraded 4 mic audio arrangement means you get some really acceptable sound quality to match. Second place. Panasonic Lumix GH6. Panasonic's second-generation GH5 was one of our favorite vlogger cameras, with tons of creative potential in a small package. The GH6 outperforms it in practically every way. It has a crisper 25.2 MP micro four-thirds sensor and can shoot 5.7K footage at 60fps. It also has a wide armory of codecs, frame rates, and resolutions, including a larger selection of 10-bit modes, and forced fan cooling which allows for virtually unlimited recording times. While it is slightly larger than the GH5 Mark II, it still has a portable form factor. Its sturdy construction is supplemented by familiar controls and new tally lights on the front and back. The 3-inch rear touchscreen flips, twists, and tilts, and a new front-facing video record button makes it easier for vloggers to get started. Although the connectivity choices are extensive, the GH6 lacks the live streaming features of the GH5 Mark II. There is still no phase detection AF but contrast-based autofocus performance appears to be better over the GH5 Mark II. Stabilization is also improved, thanks to an algorithmic improvement that makes the GH6 one of the best cameras for naturally smoothing out walking motion. First place. 
Sony ZV-1. The Canon G7X Mark III was our favorite tiny vlogging camera for a long time, but it's been dethroned by the brilliant Sony ZV-1. The ZV-1 really gets what most people want from a compact vlogging camera by integrating all of the greatest features of Sony's RX100 series, for example, the RX107's microphone input and autofocus, as well as the RX100V's brilliant 24-70mm f1.8-2.8 lens. Sony's newest real-time tracking and IAF are the best available, and the ZV-1 has a surprising lot of depth for a compact camera, including a built-in ND filter and color grading profiles like S-Log2. The Olympus OM-D EM5 Mark III's image quality and stabilization remain our favorites, but there is no better pocket vlogging camera than the Sony ZV-1. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.